This week on Life on Jupiter, we're on Lake Michigan. We're running low on fuel, but we do get to meet the fawns. And we are finished with the Great Lakes. So we're underway again. We had a, a half a day off yesterday. Back at Mackinac Island. It was nice, very tourist orientated though, of course, and a little bit plastic. But I can imagine it would have been a, a great island in its day. But we are still under a bit of a schedule and it's, uh, we'd love to just take a day or two off. But uh, we've got a friend meeting us over in uh, Kenosha, which is just north of Chicago. And it's about roughly 250 miles from here. So, and he's only got certain days off work, so we got to get there. Yeah, we've got about four or five days to get there. And then there's some wind against us as well, so we can't travel those days. So, we've got to keep on moving. Sort of wears you down a little bit, this schedule things like a job. <laughs> but it's a beautiful day today. Take advantage of uh, the good weather and get across. We thought we were in trouble with the Coast Guard again. Just got called up on the radio by this guy, flashing lights. But uh, he's actually a guard, I guess. They're doing work on the Mackinac Bridge there. And he said they're cutting and welding, so we should change our course and uh, don't go under that part of the bridge. So it was good, it was lucky. That's a, a nice, thing to happen instead of the uh, one and a half hour Coast Guard experience in Detroit. <laughs> anyway, unfortunately we didn't get any video of that. They made sure our video cameras were off. So the tasks for the day really, uh, Princess is going to do some video editing if it's not too rough because she can't be inside staring at a screen when it's rolly and she's got to give me a haircut So this is Lake Michigan, second day on the lake, and the second beautiful day. <laughs> Just a light, cool, northerly breeze, temperature of about 24 degrees C. And we're just going down the east coast of the lake right now. They even have beaches here, and sand dunes. So it's, uh, that's a nice change. Getting a bit low on fuel too, we're going to have to pick that up. We, I mean, we may have enough to get all the way there to Kenosha or Racine, which is uh, south of Milwaukee, north of Chicago. But uh, we're going to be on fumes by the time we get there. But then we can't, you know, we're normally up and gone by 6.30 in the morning and we keep motoring until 8 at night. So we don't really have the time to stop to pick up more fuel unless we really have to, which we may have to. <laughs> we'll see how we go. Taking careful measurements every day. The 
bit of a long day. Second day on Lake Michigan. Uh, we left at 7, it's now coming up to 8 p.m., so 13 hour day. But we should have a nice anchorage here. This is uh, Portage Lake on the east coast of Michigan. Uh, it looks nice and lots of room, and I think it's pretty quiet. And we have uh, been running the port engine all day. The fuel is about this deep now in that tank. Uh, so I'm going to have to measure it carefully again when we get there. Make sure we can... I'm, I'd be happy if we could do two more days motoring. And I think, because in the starboard side, we've, we've got about 20 hours of motoring. So that's two days. So it should be all right. But yeah. Been getting nice speeds. I guess there's a little current helping us. Um, but also, the wind is helping us. And we've got our, our back sail up right now. And I guess because we're pretty light with not much fuel. <laughs> All right, coming into the channel. Go and have a look. One full day of motoring. It's tiring. Check how much juice we have. Right. So day tank. Say, let's call it eighty. It's probably ninety, but let's call it eighty. Liters, this is okay, guys. And then say, let's call that 50. 130 liters. And let's call it 100 liters safe. Although, no, even less. Let's call it 80 liters safe. Because if it's rough weather, and the fuel sloshing around could easily get air bubbles if it's too low. So, uh, what did we say? 80 litres safe. So, planning, we've got... Tomorrow is a slight easterly breeze, so that makes it a um, good time to go west. Which we are. We're going to head to Sheboygan tomorrow. Which is... 70 miles at six knots, let's call it 12 hours. And how many hours did I say we've got? 25, did I? <laughs> hours. I think you said six. No, I didn't. I said 25 hours of fuel, didn't I? <laughs> Should we start again? Um, so we got 80 litres of safe fuel. Do 
divided by three litres an hour. So it's about, let's say, 25 hours of motoring available with the safety margin. Tomorrow we've got 12 hours, and then the next day, 10 hours, 22 hours. It's pretty close, isn't it, to 25? We'll reconsider tomorrow at, at Sheboygan, and then maybe we have to get fuel to be safe. Mm-hmm. Done. Let's make dinner. The years have come and gone, but we're right where we feel we belong, and then. Hopefully this is the roughest that we're going to experience on the Great Lakes because we've nearly finished the Great Lakes. We are just coming into Milwaukee and that's only about 50 miles north of Chicago so then we'll be in the rivers. We knew this weather was going to be against us, it's uh, southeasterly, it's only 15 knots but motoring against it and, and I guess it's only about a one and a half meter swell, but you just don't want big waves when you've got your mast tied to the deck. So it's certainly not bad conditions, it's just bad for our situation. But only one hour to go, and Milwaukee's got a very protected harbor, so we're looking forward to that. So, welcome to Milwaukee, home of happy days. I guess that's only for people that are decades old like me that would understand that. But anyway, this is Milwaukee, and there's actually a band over here, some sort of concert happening. So we are anchored here, and we are the only boat anchored here. And that seems to be the way everywhere so far in the US. We are the only boat sticking out like a sore thumb because we're anchored and not in a marina. So I thought it'd be a good idea to give the Coast Guard a call and just tell them and ask them, can we anchor here? So uh, I did that and he said, I don't know. <laughs> I'll have to call you back. He called back and he had asked his boss and his boss didn't know. Uh, and so they decided to call the police and ask them. And apparently if we are not disrupting traffic, port action, or in the way, then it's fine. But it's just amazing, you know, like we're a cruiser and, and you know, marinas are not in our budget. We just unable to afford that. So all we want is protection from the the swell and the wind. And uh, it's just such an unusual thing around here that the Coast Guard has to ring the city police to ask if it's okay. It's amazing. Anyway, hopefully they all leave us alone since uh, they have said we are okay. Because we want to stay here two nights. We desperately need shopping. We need diesel, we need a rest. We've been going every day, so time to rest. My poor princess is tired.
of moving. Just want to curl up, keep warm, keep still. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Now you're dancing. You know how to dance. I don't mind a bit of Sunday jazz. <laughs> For free. <laughs> so it's Summerfest here in Milwaukee. And they got live music all the time. It's cool. Yeah. I mean, like there's big concert hall just there and there's uh, great bands and stuff. Even Miley Cyrus is coming next week. Yeah, but we're leaving. But yeah, we're not here. Yeah. <laughs> in fact, we've been three days here. Yep. So we're leaving today. Uh, gonna head down to Kenosha to see our friends down there and then tomorrow Chicago yay <laughs> end of the Great Lakes saga yeah it's so tiring you know well it's less tiring than the river because yeah. you just push autopilot on and go for yeah. 10 yeah. hours whereas the river you're constantly hand steering and navigating dodging barges and River banks. Yeah. But yeah. It's a beautiful we, day. We liked Milwaukee a lot actually. Yeah. From what we saw. So uh, yeah, hopefully we like Chicago too. Yeah, and we're looking forward for the pizza. Oh yeah, Chicago <laughs> pizza. Yeah. Bring it on. <laughs> Where are we going? 
Well, maybe all the way to Shinosa. Kenosha. Kenosha. <laughs> or Kenosha, maybe. Uh, and uh, maybe not. Maybe we'll stop at Racine, which is 10 miles short of that. As we approached the township of Kenosha, it seemed that we were being followed. It turned out these were friends of ours and they'd come to guide us in. This did look like a friendly town, and it had a great long wall that looked like it was free, but very open to the public. We were about to tie up on it when we noticed all these people over at the Yacht Club waving us in. Welcome to Kenosha, Skipper. We do have a bunch of salmon for you guys to put in the freezer. Wow. We caught 13. We got 13. So that piece should be big enough for both of you. Yeah, Show them where the pin bones are. Um, yeah, you've got like, uh, and then these are just a couple of smaller fillets here, hmm. not as thick, but these are going to be the most delicious of them all. Yeah. Mm. Thank you so much. That's all. Awesome. I mean, yeah. like, I mean, you could keep one out. Fresh without even freezing yeah, it, so, and, and yeah. eat it or, but you're having fish tonight. That's We've right. got more. Yeah. Okay. Oh, this okay. is for okay. you guys. Uh, this is for the road. Whatever you have. <laughs> well, you're gonna get enough tonight. Yeah. Every one of these fish has got huge amounts in it. Can you ready? Um, who cares? Is it with fire? Did you see any fire? Uh, it feels hot. Yeah. Or um. The, kind the of white the, start showing the up. white to come through, okay. like the uh, oils come up yeah. to the top. Watch for bones. 
Yeah. Of course. There may be the, the, the small ones won't have the small too, ones. Too bad the bones, but. One of the best things about cruising is the friends that you meet up with, both new and old. And on the way to Chicago, we had another friend drop by. From time to time we are visited by our feathered friends. Most of the time they seem to be looking for rest, recuperation and maybe even some water. It didn't take long for this guy to spark up and decide he needed to repay the favour by doing some cleaning. This really had become a symbiotic relationship. After a few hours on the inside, he continued for the rest of the day on the outside. Labor Day, Chicago, the beautiful day, <laughs> the seas, our peak hour traffic. But it's very cool, very cool. It's amazing, this skyline, you know, that building with the uh, antennas on, it's just incredibly familiar, that thanks to movies and television. <laughs> you know, I've never been here, but I feel like I was just here yesterday. Ha, <laughs> Really? 